Welcome to Storytime. My name's Kath and today I'm reading a story called Monkey Puzzle. Monkey Puzzle is written by author Julia Donaldson and the illustrator is Axel Scheffler. Now I'm having a look at this cover and I can see this sticker here and it's telling me that this book was written by the same author as one of our favourites, The Gruffalo. What do we think this book might be about? I agree, I think it's about this little monkey. I wonder what he's thinking about. Let's read and find out. I've lost my mum. Oh dear, poor little monkey. Hush, little monkey, don't you cry. I'll help you find her, said Butterfly. Let's have a think. How big is she? She's big, said the monkey. Bigger than me. Bigger than you, and I've seen your mum. Come, little monkey. Come, come, come. No, no, no. That's an elephant. My mum isn't a grey, grey hunk. She got, hasn't got tusks or a curly trunk. She doesn't have great thick baggy knees. And anyway, her tail coils around trees. She coils around trees? Then she's very near. Quick little monkey, she's over here. No, 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 that's a snake. Mum doesn't look a bit like this. She doesn't slither about and hiss. She doesn't curl around a nest of eggs. And anyway, my mum's got more legs. It's legs we're looking for now, you say. I know where she is then. Come this way. Do you think Butterfly's going to get it right this time? No, no, no. That's a spider. Mum isn't black and hairy and fat. She's not got so many legs as that. She'd rather eat fruit than swallow a fly, and she lives up in the treetops way up high. She lives in the trees, you should have said, your mummy's hiding above your head. No, 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 that's a parrot. Mum's got a nose and not a beak. She doesn't squawk and squabble and shriek. She doesn't have claws or feathery wings. And anyway, my mum leaps and springs. Aha, I've got it. She leaps about. She's just around the corner, without a doubt. Butterfly seems to be having a lot of trouble trying to understand what little monkey's mummy looks like. How would you describe little monkey's mum so Butterfly could find her? I wonder if she'll find her this time. Let's have a look. Up, uh, up, uh, no, no, no. That's a frog. Oh, butterfly, butterfly, please don't joke. Mum's not green and she doesn't croak. She's not all slimy. Oh dear, what a muddle. She's brown and furry and nice to cuddle. Brown fur? Why didn't you tell me so? We'll find her in no time. Off we go. What do you think? No, no, no. That's a bat. Why do you keep on getting it wrong? Mum doesn't sleep the whole day long. I told you, she's got no wings at all. And anyway, she's not nearly so small. Your mum's not little. Now let me think. She's down by the river having a drink. No, no, no. That's the elephant again. Why do you think Butterfly keeps getting it wrong? Hmm. Butterfly, Butterfly, can't you see? None of these creatures looks like me. 
You never told me she looked like you. Of course I didn't. I thought you knew. I didn't know. I couldn't. You see, none of my babies looks like me. So she looks like you. Well, if that's the case, we'll soon discover her hiding place. Can you see little butterflies babies? Hmm. I wonder how they turn into a butterfly. I wonder if we'll find little monkey's mommy this time. Let's find out. No, no, no. That's my dad. Come little monkey, come, come, come. It's time I took you home to mum. She found her mum. That's the end of the story.